Hello, I'm Dan Atkinson and welcome to another edition of Teesside Talks. We've got another three topics that you probably don't care about with a variety of guests who you've probably never heard of today. Our first topic concerns the recent riots down in London. A recent news story details that some of the students involved in the rioting come from, surprise, surprise, our very own Teesside University. How much of an impact does this situation have on the current reputation of this installation? Institution, sorry. My guests for this topic are Thomas Cross, a student who actually supports the riots, and Andrew Bassaker, Bacchuser, sorry, Bacchuser. that's a strange name. <laughs> Don't all get right, me wrong. all right. Um, who's also from Teesside University. Now, uh, gents, Tom, first of all, you support these riots. Yeah. Why? It's because it's getting our message out there, and it's doing it a lot better than just us standing around, because no one's going to pay any attention if we're just like, hey, we don't like this. So if we actually go there and we make sure that they know that we don't like this, like, for example, going into their headquarters and maybe smashing it up a bit, they'll be like, ah, maybe they don't like these spending cuts. Maybe we should do something about them. But then they'll probably, instead of that, they'll probably think, um, oh, these guys are yobs. Let's just do it anyway. We don't like them because they trashed our place. Let's trash our life. Let's trash their lives. Would the government really be that low? I think so. Especially have Cameron. You, have you got seen this eyes. coalition? Yeah. Mm, well, it's I don't full know. of dicks. It's full of dicks. Wow. So you support the rights. So you, would you personally have gone down there if there was another protest? And would you personally smash the windows to try and get your point across? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really. Even though the taxpayers, you, him, me, mm -hmm. well, not me, I evade tax. But like, Same. would have to pay to repair <coughs> this, this damage that you lot are causing. I think for the right cause, it's worth it. If we actually make ourselves known well enough, and we do enough towards it, then they will actually take notice and do something about it. They, but we will but have to go a bit further, however. Maybe you know, like taking a few hostages or what? Like, <laughs> are you like, serious? Yes. Seriously, think about what you're saying at this moment in time. That's just going to make the like, whole thing worse and then say like, okay, we're not going to listen to them, they're all idiots. And then you'll probably oh, be taking off your own course as well for like taking up hostages. We, we'll have to, it have to Seriously, be Seriously, think about your own life here. Yeah, you might get kicked off the course, Tom. Yeah. Whew. Taking hostages, that's yeah. a crime. And you'll be eating beans for the rest of your life. I'm doing that anyway. <laughs> but you've got to think that, got to have this whole thing, it's like you've got to plan it out. And you've got to make sure. It's like, yeah, taking hostages. I'm ready and willing to lay down, like, my own life, as it what were. What sort of like hostages are you going to take just random people off the street? No, and just go, go, like, go. We actually have to go, and we'll have to find the actual MPs. For what? example, yeah, that Osborne guy. Take him. And if we can, get Cameron and Clegg. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> yes, serious. I'm You're very be, serious. As soon as you go near him, it's just going to be like, Oh, gone. Let's see what the audience thinks about this. Hostages, good idea or not? Anyone got any general opinions on this whatsoever? Anyone? Um, I think yes, you. Put your hand up, please. Yeah, Anyone? okay. Yeah, sorry, you. sorry, sorry. Um, host hostages is a bit far. Like, okay, fair enough, smash up a building. Prove your point. Oh, so you want the buildings you support? You support yeah, the, the yeah, riots? Yeah, I support the smash Really? They've got a fan there, man. Yay. Um, yeah, yeah, that does prove your point. But hostages, mm, A, that will get you in a lot of trouble. And B, like, whoa. You don't well, need to go that radical, mate, really, seriously. But anarchy never hurt anyone? Uh, yes, yeah. it did. <laughs> Broken legs <laughs> and stuff. And I think we'll end it there because we're obviously not solving anything. So let's move on to our next topic. On the back of Prince William, I can't tell the difference to be quite honest here, getting engaged to that kind of fit, kind of old looking posh bird, we, de we debate the relevance of the royal family in society today. Do the bearers of the crown jewels still have a place in modern Britain with the economy trying to pull itself out of a wheelie bin like a trapped cat? Why do we need them? What purpose do they serve? And will the Express ever fucking shut up about Diana? It's been 13 years for Christ's sake. Let's see what our guests Andrew, again, and James Bennett think of this issue. Hello guys. Well, I'm not saying hello to you, I'm saying hello to you. Oh, um, what do you think of this? You don't like the royal family, do you? I don't like the royal family. I think they're a blight on society. A blight on a society? A blight on society, really? yes, I do. Um, for a country trapped in economic dog poop, we are, we are paying £34.7 million per annum. That's a taxpayer's paying 
7.4 million pounds. That's different to what I just said. I don't care. Uh, a year on the royal family to, for, for them to go to Tesco's, for them to get the bus but down they, to the park. They don't it's, really go to Tesco's, to be quite honest. No, they send their servants. Yes. But that being said, and now we're going to have to pay 50 million, and that's just a rough estimation. It could be a lot more, it could go up to 80 million, to watch two spoiled brats get married. I mean, it just takes the joy out of marriage, but what joy there was in marriage. But it gives like the people of Britain something nice to watch in the immense of all this credit crunch thing. So it kind of takes it away. So it's just a nice event, and also we get a day off. Watch so I'm not bothering. The day off is good. Yeah, I, I will take the point that the day off. Oh, is so you agree now? I agree right. with the day off being good. Oh, fine. But I think we'll probably get a day off if the Queen was mysteriously taken hostage. Oh, so you're going to take a hostage now? What's all this thing with like, hostage taken at the moment? What? If the pirate ships in Somalia are taught anything, is that hostages get you money. Fair enough. Queen should be taken but, hostage. But we're a part of a Western culture, not in like Africa. We're not in Africa. It's not tribal war here. Tribal war would be fun, though. <laughs> tribal war would be fun. Maybe we release like a ball round. What? We chase it with sticks. <laughs> See, but okay. this is all more entertaining than the, than the royal family. And it's all about our like, heritage. Wait, what the hell? We've Just smack we've him, smack him. Can exactly. somebody smack him, seriously? Oh. I'm not. He needs to be professional I'm not here. awfully liable. Oh, Dad! <laughs> Get a grip. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Not doing a job right. Good second. Cut. Uh, huh? yeah, right, right. yeah, cut it off. Oh, you're done, are you? Yeah. yeah. Thrilling. Yeah. Cheers, lads. Sadly, sadly, we have to move on to our third and final topic this week. Thank you very much. Topic number three. Should Middlesbrough become a city? For a long, boring time now, Middlesbrough has been campaigning to change its status from a lowly, pathetic town to a thriving New York-esque city. But does Middlesbrough, the endless rows of McDonald's and the flocks of less than healthy looking pigeons, suit the image of a city? If Manchester is anything to go by, I think the answer is yes, my friends. But in our guest's eyes, does Middlesbrough deserve it? And does anyone really care? Welcome Bryony Bowes and Nick Bromyard. Now Bryony, I understand you've lived here all your life. <laughs> you've got some kind of attachment in Middlesbrough and you think it should be a city. Explain to me and Nick, why? I think it should be, it deserves it. Um, over the past, well, like 10 years ago, it was a proper shithole. But it's done so much in the past few years to try and regenerate itself, um, try to be a better place for people to live and to come to. So yeah, I think it should be. Right, Nick? No, not all. Middlesbrough as a city is ridiculous. They're pumping so much time, money and effort into this place becoming a city, which is unnecessary. It doesn't need it. And they could use the money and the resource for far better things. We have, we have now in this town the um, highest uh, rate of unemployment in the country. Really? And we could perhaps use that money towards getting people into jobs. Mm. I, mean, I know they're not necessarily classy, but something in factories we need to bring back the steel works or something like that, because people are on the dole. If we get them off the dole with that money that we're using to pump in to try and get this place to a city, we're gonna sort of have a massive impact on improving our economy. Top, top of the charts for uh, highest unemployment rates, Bryony. It's At least you top the league for something. Middlesbrough you know, being a city is nothing to do with the jobs. It doesn't. It's Middlesbrough as a town trying to do something. That's right. It's a town. It's a town at the moment, yeah. But when it's a city, at the city moment, forever. Continue. Not forever. <coughs> it'll get it one day. The jail ripens a city, and it's nothing. Um, no, it deserves it. It's nothing about jobs. If if I think as if it gets the city status, it's more likely to introduce jobs to people. <coughs> yeah. The key word if. Right, Nick? Yeah, if. and plus, look at the amount of people in this place. There is no way we can afford to have the amount of unemployed people we have in this city poncing around in Armani suits in office blocks. It's going to take so long to develop. We need a quick solution to uh, the economy, and this is a key place to implement that. Yeah, good. I mean, I'm not biased. I'm impartial here, but... Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm on it. yeah. Right. Audience, what do we think about this? You all live in Middlesbrough, I'm assuming, unless you drive in every day, which I'd prefer if I'm being honest with you. But uh, what do you think? Any questions on this? You. On the uh, highest rate of unemployment, 
Uh, Britain as a whole has the highest rate of uh, childhood pregnancy, obesity and asthma. Does the city status really have an effect on anything or is it just because Britain's a bit crap? I think it will have an effect on something and the fact that they have to pump money in to get this. They built a goddamn cathedral because they still, they're that thick up here, they thought it was still the rules that they had to have a cathedral to become a city. Yeah, what a bunch of morons. You're not taking the piss out of Middlesbrough, it's North East, isn't it? You're, you've got to dig out. No, up I like here. North East. I'm a Newcastle fan. That is perfectly North East. No, it's terrible. Mm. It's just Middlesbrough. Yeah, that's right, it's just Middlesbrough. It doesn't deserve to be a city, in my opinion. Although Sunderland's not exactly too cracking either. No, what? it's not. Sunderland. Prick. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we're going to wrap it up there. Um, today we've learned absolutely nothing. Well, I've learned nothing. I don't think this audience has either. Um, so thank you to all my guests, some good, some bad, and uh, to my great audience. <coughs> yeah, right. And to you, whoever you are, for watching. I've been Dan Atkinson. I still will be after this show. Good night. <laughs> Let's have the Mac, yeah, I know.